Hi, my name is Jamie and I will be showing you guys how to do a killer core workout today. Now having a strong core is the foundation of having a strong body. So it's very important that you make those muscles just as strong as your arms and your legs. Um, we're going to be working all areas of your abs, your upper, your lower, and your sides, as well as your back because working your back is very important having a strong core. Your arms and your chest are going to get a little bit of a workout today too. Now this is my friend Joanne. She's going to be showing you how to do the modified moves. Um, if you don't want to see how to do the moves, because we're going to show you that first before we get into the workout, go ahead and skip to the time that I'm putting up right now. Um, the workout is really fast paced, so that's why I'm showing you, you the moves first. Um, so let's get started in showing you how to do that. Okay, so the warm up consists of doing basketball shots, forward arm circles, high knees, knees to elbows, and jump tucks. The basketball shots look like this. You would go down and you go up like you're shooting. You go down and you alternate sides. Easy enough. Forward arm circles look like this. We'll go forward and we'll go back. High knees. You bring your knees up high like you're jogging but exaggerated. Use your core to pull up your knees. Knees to elbows look like this. You use your core to crunch to the side. Make sure your abs are tight when you're doing it. And then jump tucks. You jump and hit your knees. That's a jump tuck. Again, use your core to pull your knees up. The workout itself consists of these moves. We're going to start with 90-90 crunches. Okay, so the 90-90 crunches look like this. You put your knees up like this in a right angle type position. You lift your shoulders above the floor. If you're doing the modified version, you keep your shoulders on the ground. And you use your lower abs to go down with your legs. And then go up. And then you go down. And you go up. All the while keeping your lower abs tight. If you want to make it even tougher, so you would go up in the crunch and then go down to make it tougher. Next move is going to be ab curls. To modify this one, you just wouldn't go up as high, but you put, start with your feet planted, your arms straight out, and you use your core to pull yourself up and you reach forward. Just like that. The next move after that is called ab choppers. Feet still on the floor, hands together, and you go up to one side, and then you go down, and then you go up to the other side, and then you go down, and then to modify it, you just don't go up as high. We're also going to be doing what's called Supermans. This is going to work your back. So you go on your belly, hands out, feet out like you're Superman, and you do like a swimming type motion. We're going to be doing half the move like this, and then for the other half, we're going to be lifting up and down, making sure you use your butt, clench the butt muscles up when you go, so you get a nice, whole midsection workout. To modify that one, you just don't do it as intensely. There's really no other way to modify that one. Otherwise, you won't get the benefit of it. The next move we're going to be doing is called banana boat. You start in like a V position, using your core to hold you up. You extend your legs out while going lower body down. Just like that. Down and up. To modify this one, you don't have to extend your legs out. It's easier if you keep them in and don't go down as low. That's a tough one. She's already cursing me out. Loki you heard that. <laughs> That set that we just did, that's going to be round one. We do those twice. This is going to be round two. The next move we're going to be doing is called an alternating side plank. You start in side plank just like this. If you're modifying it, you go to your knee. She's going to show you how. But you start in side plank, you go to regular plank, and then you go to the other side and plank. And we just do that the whole time. If you're modifying it, you stay on your knees. The next move we're going to be doing is called a side plank dip. 
round, the first set in this round, we'll be doing it on one side, and the next time we do it, we'll be doing it on the other side. So stay on the one side. Get in side plank, modifying it, go on your knee. But in side plank, you just dip down using your core. Use your core to pull up. Use your arm the least amount of, as possible to do this. Focus mainly on your core, going down and up. Next, what we're going to be doing is called an upward plank, and it looks like this. You get down with your arms behind you, with your, palm, with your fingertips facing towards your toes. Go straighten your legs out, and you start in sitting position, and then you push up so you're in plank, and then go down. To modify this, you just don't go as high, but the point of this is to go as high as you can using your core to pull you up. The last move we're going to be doing is called a Superman with an explosive push-up. This is the hardest move and that's why I put it last. You start in Superman position, you pull up with your arms and legs, and then you go really fast upwards, and then you do a push-up. To modify this, you do the push-up and exploding up on your knees. So again, it looks like this. Superman, up, push up. So how this workout is gonna go is we got two rounds. First round, it's the 90-90 crunches, ab curls, ab choppers, supermans, and the banana boat with 10 seconds rest in between. And then we start that over again. We have, and then we go into round two, which is the alternating side planks, plank dips, upward planks, and the supermans. Again, with 10 seconds rest in between each move, and then we'll do the cool down. So this is fast paced. The point is to do each move as fast as you can while still having good form. Are you guys ready to work your core? Let's do this. Basketball shots. Now we're just warming up, so... You better be. 
We're going to start with the 90-90 crunches. As fast as you can, 50 seconds. Use your core. Hold your legs up. Keep your shoulders off the ground as much as you can. All about the core today, you guys. Make sure they're tight and you're using it in every move.
right, you guys. <sighs> Doing 90 90 crunches again. Let's get into position. This is the second round of this. Use your lower abs to lift up your legs. Those are probably the weakest muscles in our core. So you really got to focus. I know they're definitely my weakest, especially if you're having two kids. Hydrate, you 
guys. You should be sweating. I don't know if you can see the sweat on me with my crappy webcam, but you can see my bangs are wet. <laughs> I'm sweating. All right. You guys are going into the next round. We're going to be doing each move twice. And then we're done. Five, four, three, two, one. My floor is getting all sweaty. 
So don't mind me. <laughs> Get in the position. Go. Use your core to stabilize you. Focus. Sweat too. Drip, sweat's dripping off my nose onto the floor. 
After this, I want you guys to go in Cobra. Stretch out the core, lower down, then push up. If you can, keep your thighs off the floor and really feel that stretch through your abs. Oh, I know it feels good. We go. And then we're going to go from Cobra into Downward Facing Dog. You're welcome. Okay. Feel it. I stretch. Feels so good, you guys. It's over. Your core got an excellent workout today. You guys should be proud of yourself. Joanne, you should be proud of yourself. Pull up. Pull up. Don't just collapse. Slowly roll up. Oh, I burned about 160 calories with that ab workout. And considering it's a strength, <laughs> I'm guessing her heart rate monitor didn't work. <laughs> but for a strength workout, 160 calories is awesome. I'm dripping in sweat. Can you see the sweat on my... It works, you guys. Trust me. Till next time.